What if there was a no code and free, easy to edit website solution? Notion can be the perfect tool. The shared to web options and easy to build design make it the perfect website builder for someone looking for a basic, editable, and functional website, such as for personal pages, store information, and sharing announcements. In this video, we'll guide you step-by-step step how to build a website in Notion. If you find this helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. So let's dive right in. Let's first start with an empty Notion page and here in the title, you can put whatever you want. It could just simply be welcome or welcome to your business name. We're going to go ahead and do welcome to the organized notebook to sort of simulate what it would be like if we were making our own website through Notion. So the next step we're going to do is go to the top right hand corner and do small text full width. And here you can add your icon. So for us, we're just going to put our logo here and you can basically choose whatever you want in these icon options or simply add a file through this custom area. So I'm just going to click upload file and now we have our icon. The next thing we can do is add a cover. So I'm going to click add cover and change cover and simply go to unsplash for something that has sort of a office and I'll just go ahead and choose this one and save position. The next thing I'm going to start doing is to sort of create a navigation bar on the left hand side. So for that, I'm going to do slash call out and we can call this navigation and you can even choose the icon you'd like in this slot. In this case, we're happy with this list one, so we're going to keep it and now I'm going to bolt this. So the next thing we can do is to start adding some pages that we would have on this website. And in this case, we're going to be sort of modeling this website off of our actual website. So if we check out our actual website, we have, for example, home, store, notion classes, coaching, articles, freebies about an FAQ. So in this case, we're now working on the home page. So we want to add these kinds of buttons. So for that, we're going to go to Notion and click enter and then slash page and add a page. So this one could be our store page and we could add, for example, an icon here. So this could be a shopping cart like this and we can go ahead and go back. So we could just put it under here. And the other thing we're going to add in this navigation is a button that's going to go back to your home page. So in order to do that, we're going to type slash button and we're going to add a button that says return home. And we're going to add an icon that has a house like this. And when the button is clicked, we want to open up the page. We're going to choose this and we're going to open it in full page. And done. So now when we click this, it's going to return us to this page again, which is really useful in our navigation bar. So if we go back, now we have return home and then a store page. And now we're going to transform this block into a synced block. So to do that, we're going to click the six dots here and click turn into synced block. So what this does is no matter where you are, you can simply return to all of these page links and even the button. So we're going to be copying this inside every page of this website. So next we're going to do space here and then slash column so we can make two columns. And we're going to be putting the navigation on our left hand side and pulling this over so we have more space on this side. So now we can sort of work a little bit on our home page. So let's check what we have on our actual home page. So we sort of have a welcome message here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and I'm going to be putting it back to our notion page like this. And let's go ahead and change this text into, for example, heading three or maybe even heading one like this. So you kind of want to have a message for your viewer of this website here and then we could even change this into for example a quote so we're gonna do quote now we kind of have our intro here and we have a little quote here too so it kind of breaks things up and then underneath here we could add for example a embed of our gumroad store so we're gonna go to our gumroad store here 
and simply copy the link so we're just gonna copy this and if you don't have a store you could link to anything you could even add pictures here so it's really up to your needs and your website needs but since we are primarily a sort of digital seller as well as blog with our website we're just going to simply paste in this link here and create embed so now as you can see we have our store linked here which is super useful so people could just come here and check out all of our freebies and products events and so on so this is a really cool feature that you can add to a notion page like this so next let's work a bit more on our navigation bar now we can actually put this navigation bar into our store page so if we go to this button here the six dots we can copy link to block and now if we go to our store we can go ahead and do the same with the small text full width and we can create two columns by typing slash column and simply paste it in and we can paste and sync so now we have the same navigation bar here so if we click here we're going to return home if we click here we're going to go back to our store and what we want in our store is actually also the same link here so i'm just going to go ahead and copy link to original go to store and then paste it in create embed so again here we also have the same store and you can see everything here like this and even sort of move the size a bit so it gets bigger and now we have our little store and we can go back to return home so let's continue by checking what other pages we have on our actual website so if we go back to our home page now we'll see that we have store so after store we basically have our notion classes and this is basically similar to a blog so if we go to tutorials for example you'll see all these articles on how to use notion so we can go ahead and add something similar so if we go back to our notion page we can now duplicate the store here and we can go to this duplicated version and the navigation bar already exists which is really useful so now we're going to call this our blog and we can change the icon to something like a pencil list like this and let's go ahead and delete the store part of this so now what we can do is now create a database here and we're going to add a gallery view database so if we click gallery view plus new database and we're going to call this one our blog so now we can make two columns slash column again and then put the navigation on the left side slide this over and we can move this into this side so now we have our blog here and we can rename this blog and we can even change the layout so we hide the database title and we can check what properties are being shown here so in this case we don't want the created so we're going to delete this property we also don't want tag so we're going to also delete this property so let's go ahead and click in and see what else is here so we're going to delete this and let's say this is blog post one and we're going to add the property which is going to be a date so you can add the date for example if the blog post is today you could just put today like this and even some other descriptions if you'd like so we can go ahead and keep it like this and then you can just simply start typing in here if you'd like to put a blog post so let's say that we're making a blog post about how to embed music playlists in notion well, we could simply follow basically what we have here and we can go to here and just simply paste all of this in. And if we go back to our Notion page, we can just paste it. So now we see understanding embeds and all of these things. We can also even add the YouTube video here. So if we want to sort of uh, copy this link we can copy that link and we can go back to our notion and we can for example do slash embed and embed link embed link like this so now we have even our video here and let's say now we want to add a cover we can click add cover and change cover and we can upload or add as a link 
So now if I click out and then we can change the three dots here and go to layout and choose card preview and change it to page cover. And then we can also change the properties here so that it shows the date. And let's even just rename this. So how to embed music in Notion like this and then we can delete these. So every time you have and want to add new blog posts, you can just come to this page and add them like this. So now we can return home. So after our blog, the next thing we're going to be adding is going to be, for example, a coaching page, an about page, and let's say a contact page. So if we go back to our Notion, we can now just duplicate the store page again. So you can just duplicate this and drag it below the blog. So we highly recommend you to duplicate the store page and not the blog because the blog includes a database. So we have our store here. We're simply just going to remove this and we can now name this one, for example, coaching services, and we can add icon here for person. So since it's me and on, I'm just going to put two people here like this, and I can even copy some of what's in already on our coaching page. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that in here as an example. And before I do that, I'm actually going to make the two columns again by typing slash column, selecting two columns, sliding this over. And then here you can paste this information in. So as you can see, now we have this information here. So now we can return home. And since we don't have any databases in this one, we can continue to duplicate this coaching one. So we can just duplicate this. And the next thing we're going to add is an about page about us. And let's now put, for example, an info marker here. And we can now add something on this side based off of our real website. So we can go to about. And we can just copy this. And here you can really do whatever you need to make it look the way you want. So we are just kind of copying this in to show you a layout and a basic sort of overview of how to do this. But of course, you can add things like dividers. You can also add things like bullet points. So if we wanted to add bullets, we can do something like this. You can add way more pictures. So there's a lot you can do inside here. This is just a basic framework. So if we return home, now we can also add contact information. So we can do this duplicate and we can change here contact us. And we'll change the icon into a phone. And here you can add all of your contact information. So let's say contact information. And you could put slash call out. So you could just put all of your contacts in contact information like this in a call out box, for example. So if you have a phone number, you could put your phone number like this. Then you could just click the six dots, duplicate, and next we could put like an email like this. So our email is organized notebook.info at gmail.com. So if you want to convert this email address into an actual link that takes people to the email, you can just click link and then you can change this to mail to with two dots and then organized notebook dot info at gmail.com and then you can choose link to url like this so you can continue to add more so for example you can add your website your social media anything you want here in this format as well so next we can return home so now as you can see we have our return home button our store our blog coaching services about us contact us so it basically looks almost like our real website and you can 
basically customize this even further so for example this is a little bit lacking in terms of the visuals so we could even add a photo here so if we go back to our main website i'm just going to copy image address here and i could just put slash image and embed link and just embed this in so now we have a little more images inside and we highly encourage you to just experiment and explore what kinds of things you can add but the basic framework with this navigation button works really well so if you're in the store you can now go to your blog you can go to your coaching services about us contact us and then return home so the final thing we want to share is exactly how to sort of make this into a website that you can share online. So if we go to the share button, then you can do publish to web. And by clicking publish to web, you'll get this unique site here like this. And you can simply just use this link and share it with everyone. You can set an expiration date if you need. You can allow editing, allow commenting, allow duplicates, comment and search engine indexing. In the case where this is used as a website, we would recommend you to turn off all of these except maybe the search engine indexing if you want it to be shown uh, on, for example, Google. So now we can check what it looks like with the link. So I'm going to go ahead and click this link and open it up here. So everything appears the way we want it. We see our store like this. And we can go to our store here. We can, for example, if we're interested in this project task manager, simply click on that and we can already see everything here as well. We can see the blog. If we click on the blog, you can read it like this with the video. We can see the coaching services about us, contact us and we can return home. So as you can see, it's quite functional in this way that you can sort of build a website that's really easily shareable. So next, we wanted to just share a few things. So if you go to your workspace settings through the sidebar here and then settings and members, you can get to this page here and here you can select your domain. So all of the pages you share through this Notion workspace is going to be under the organized notebook.notion.site. So you can kind of customize and brand your link this way as well. And the other thing is if you go to sites here, you, you'll be able to see exactly which sites are published to the web and so on. So this gives you a lot of information as well. We'll leave the finished version of this template in the description below, and we highly recommend you to customize it to your own needs. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let us know, and we hope to see you in the next one.